What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today is the day we take the 1953 Pontiac Chieftain to Mako. We got the hell air over there. We have, I can't tell you last time we started that car. Uh, in fact, we can't start it because I stole the gas tank out of it. <laughs> anyway, we got the Ram 2500 getting ready to put in some work. We got the Pontiac Chieftain that's been sitting on this trailer for over a week now. It hasn't been started. Before we get down to uh, Mako, I want to make sure it runs because I have to drive it off the trailer. Um, so it's kind of important to verify that it's going to run before we drive all the way there and find out that it decided, uh, you know, it wasn't going to uh, fire up for us anymore or find out we got a dead battery, whatever the case may be. All right. Here we go. She fired right up, man. Are you kidding me? What a good old car. Horn doesn't work, but what a good old car, right? Listen to that. Oh, well, she's cold. And the choke is stuck open. Damn, she runs good. Okay. All right, let's get this off of there. We, we don't need to leave that in here. Take my mask. Yeah, we're starting to see masks again, whatever that means. Either way, let's get this bad boy down to Mako, and uh, let's see what it's going to cost to make her look beautiful again. I still don't know the color, guys. I'm kind of between the seafoam green or whatever, sea breeze green, a dark metallic green. I just don't know. I just don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there, I guess. Let's do it. All right, guys. We have arrived at Mako off of I-240 in Oklahoma City. I can't recommend I can't recommend these guys enough over here. They have taken good care of me. Not sponsored. I pay for everything out of pocket. So just to be clear on that, there's no sponsorships going on around here. Make sure we got that. Yep, it's up. If it's up, then it's up, then it's... Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Boy, the brakes are good in this. Brakes are real good in this. Off we go. Anybody behind us better watch out. I'm coming through. Come on, girl. She's not warmed up quite yet. She's still, she's still a little cold. Let's see what Paul says. I'm sure this one's got so much surface rust and stuff, it's gonna require a lot of sanding. I have no doubt that this one's gonna cost a little bit more than probably what I'm hoping. But uh, we'll find out. There we go. Set the e-brake. And uh, we'll put her, oh, that's reverse, hold on. Put, we'll put her in first. Go ahead and shut it off. Oh. oh, there's an IA car right there. Go get Paul and see what he thinks, man. She's got a lot of surface rust. And I wish I, I, wish I could have found some bright work for it to replace what's currently on it. But dang it. Uh, so far no luck we're just going to go ahead and make we're going to make it look better that's the goal is try to make it look better probably get all this filled in or should we leave the holes in it i don't know so that if somebody finds the chrome they can just pop it back in i'm kind of tempted to leave the holes in it and maybe we can find the chrome if we don't find the chrome well at that point i don't know but somebody somewhere has got to have chrome for this thing if we fill in the holes you're not going to put that chrome back on it all right if we don't fill in the holes, at least someday you can find that chrome and put it back in. Comment below right now, what do you guys think? I don't know, I, I'm, I'm torn on leaving the holes or filling them. I guess I'll have to get a quote from him for both because I'm sure filling in each one of these little holes <laughs> right, is gonna cost some money. Um, that's gonna be labor intensive. There's that there for the, uh, for the mirror and everything as well. Yeah, 
We'll figure it out though, guys. We'll figure it out. Go ahead and comment down below right now what you would do. Would you fill it in or would you leave it so that you could put chrome back on it later? Let's go get Paul and let me put this trailer up. We'll find out how much he says this paint job is going to cost. I'm not going to tell you the color either. You're going to have to wait. I'll tell you the color when it's time to reveal it. Remember, this is Mako off of I-240, Southside Oklahoma City. So we're back at Mako. It's time to pick it up. That was quick, right? For me, it was three months. <laughs> For you guys, it was like that. The reason we're walking around the trailer is, uh, first, let me make sure there's no traffic. I, I just got hit. I literally just got in an accident. A lady tried to merge into my lane while I was in my lane, and she almost hit my truck. So I blew the horn, and I swerved out of the way, and she swerved back over into her lane. And then she merged back into my lane, into my trailer. Like, she almost hit the truck, and then she hit the trailer. This lady did stop. We pulled over on the side of the road. I checked my damage. I checked her damage. And now that I'm parked, I've got a little more time where I'm not surrounded by cars that are going to kill me. I could take a closer look. Other than bending my license plate up, uh, it didn't do any real damage to my trailer. Uh, it scuffed it up a little bit. Got Some of the tire got into it there. And you can see my tire is damaged because this rubbed up against her whole front bumper. Um, but the tire looks like it's all right. We got some uh, paint, uh, some tire transfer from her car onto mine. Aside from that, I don't care, guys. Not a big deal. It honestly messed up her vehicle a lot more than it messed up mine. So I'm not going to file an insurance claim. I'm not going to do that to her. She was nice. She pulled over. She was apologetic. The sun was in her eyes. I understand completely. I'm not mad at her. So I'm not going to file a claim on the trailer over something like that. I don't want to mess up that lady's insurance over something this small. So let's go ahead and grab that 53 Pontiac that most of you have probably forgotten about. Let's get it on the trailer and then we're gonna see how this thing hauls on the way home. All right guys, here she is, the 53 Pontiac Chieftain in plum crazy purple. Oh man, I love it, I love it. I had him do the door frames and everything as well, as well as the door jams. It's not perfect. As you can see, there's some, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe this is rubbing up. Oh, there's paint stuck to that. So when they closed the door, it pulled the paint off. The paint must not have been dry yet. Yeah, get that off of there. <laughs> Man, I love this car. I do, I love this car. I think it looks, I think it looks tough. It really does. I mean, all the chrome needs to be refinished. But listen to her purr like a kitten, man. She's purring. Wow. How much did this cost? 2,500 bucks. $2,500 out the door, and I paid, what, $4,000 something dollars for the car? So as of right now, I got, I got 6,000 plus into this car. 6,000 plus. And guess what, I'm selling it. I am. Yep, it's going down the road. I found something. I've been looking for this gas can forever. There it is, still full of gas. <laughs> there may be stuff in the trunk still. I honestly don't remember. Looks like they got a little bit of paint on that there. That'll come off though. Yeah, the trunk's locked. Have to get in there and see what's what's back there. But uh, there she is, guys. The big reveal. The 58 or 53 Pontiac Chieftain with power steering, the flat eight, the straight flathead eight. And uh, you know what the best thing is? I was real concerned about this. I was real concerned with this being a half ton versus the three quarter ton, how this is gonna squat my truck. Honestly, guys, that's not bad. Keep the weight off your tongue. That's the trick, man. Regardless of what you're towing with, don't put your weight on the tongue. You put this car all the way forward and you got all that weight on the tongue, I guarantee you this truck's gonna squat down. Those chains will be dragging the ground. You got to keep your weight distributed evenly. You want to try to keep it between the axles. All right, this is what you want supporting the weight. You want these two axles back here holding the weight, not the tongue of your truck. I know that it seems like common sense. There's a lot of people out there that just don't know that. I see them all the time dragging their cars all the way forward. And I'm like, oh my God, guys, that is, that is dangerous, dangerous. Well, I'm going to go ahead and strap this bad boy down. Look at her. Oh, she's gorgeous, guys. She is gorgeous. I think she looks tough with the dirty chrome. I do. I think she looks real tough. It kind of like a kind of like a Christine tough in that 
plum crazy purple with the rusty uh rusty bumper i like it i do i like it i'm also cheap so that might explain that as well i'm gonna strap her down guys let's get her back to the house let's take her for a drive we haven't driven this thing in so long and i'm gonna do a separate video if you want to see how the half ton pulls because this is probably the heaviest thing that this truck is going to pull that's a heavy car that's not a particularly light trailer i'm going to do another video on how's it pull for those of you that might be on the fence about picking up a half ton pickup truck to do a little bit of hauling with stay tuned for that one let's get on the road all right guys we got her strapped down pretty good i don't think she's going anywhere oh let's climb in here check temperature gauge she's been running a while sitting at 190 very nice give it a little rev She seems good. Let's see if she'll start back up on her own. Nope. All right. Well, it is what it is. Uh-oh. This window is stuck now. <laughs> Great. All right. We got it fixed. <laughs> we got the window up. Man, I... I hate having to send this thing down the road. I really do. Unfortunately, there's just so much going on right now, guys. There's no way I got time for this. There's so much left to do. And uh, yeah, it's just not in the cards for this old girl, but she'll be at insurance auto auction soon. And maybe one of you will bid on it and put her back together. All right, guys, we made it. We made it. And I did an entire short dedicated video on how this truck did compared to the 2500s that I've had hauling and riding I, I did so there there'll be a video on that very soon don't miss it i think you'll be surprised um at how i felt about it uh, honestly um i'm i'll tell you this i am surprised i'm surprised the way i feel about pulling a heavy ass load like this with a half ton truck versus the three quarter ton diesel that i'm used to pulling with i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing unstrapped we know the battery's dead that sucks I, i'm surprised the battery has has kind of given out on it so early Oh, shoot. I can't open this one-handed. You know what, guys? I thought that battery was dead. There's a light on it. Oh, she's dead. Never mind. There she goes. She's dead. All right, let's get the booster pack. We'll let it charge up, I guess, for a minute, and then we'll get her off the trailer. Well, we're losing daylight here. Look at, look at that Pontiac emblem, man, or that Chief. God, I love this car. I love this car. She is absolutely beautiful, guys. Wow. Okay, I'm surprised I remembered how to drive it. It's a three on the tree. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can remember. Reverse is, uh, I think it's forward and, uh, damn it. Could be wrong. I think it's forward and up. Yeah, there it is. Yep, forward and up. Okay, here we go. There we go. Let her raise up. And down we go. Please don't scrape anything. Woo! <laughs> All right, now we're cooking with grease. This old boy's got a power steering too. Look at this, power steering. Let's get her parked by the garage real quick. There we go, off the trailer, that's all that matters into the garage. I don't know if it'll fit. In neutral, right in the middle, e-brake, and we're done. So I think the next thing we need to do is take this old girl to the car wash. Let's spray her down. She's covered in dust. I think it'd be nice to get it out in the sun so we could really see that color, that, that metal flake in the paint. 
But before we do that, I gotta give a shout out to Randall C for sending me some really cool stuff. Randall says he loves watching my videos, but I don't give Subaru enough love on the channel. So he sent me some Subaru swag, an extra large Subaru shirt. Thank you for that. And he has got a YouTube channel and it's called Talk YouTube, T-O-K with the letter U, Tube, T-U-B-E. His Instagram is Grillin' Kitty for all your food needs. We got some more Subaru swag, a koozie. I could actually use this right now for my can of Coke. And <laughs> this is probably my favorite part, my favorite part. This is Burgerville's original spread. I love Burgerville out in the Washington, Oregon area. Thank you for that. That was super cool. What else we got in here? I haven't even had a chance to look at all this. Subaru, what is this? What is that? I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not going to open it all on here, guys. Uh, Subaru Rally Team USA. Jelly Bean. <laughs> I, I do love jelly beans. All right, we got a a Subaru pouch. All right. Well, this dude was not messing around. <laughs> Subaru WRX STI. What is this? There used to be something in this. I don't think there's anything in this anymore. Nope, whatever was in that is gone. What is this? Uh-oh, I got to open this. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know what that is now. I know what this is. These are poop bags. These are poop bags for you. <laughs> a Subaru pen. Okay, that was in that box. Thank you. Man, you hooked me up, dude. Like, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you hooked me up. <laughs> wow. He's not messing. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, what is this? That's, a, that's an even bigger pen. There, there's got to be something. Let's see. Is it, is it a flashlight? A laser pointer, maybe? I think it's a... What is this? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's a screwdriver kit. It's, got, it's a screwdriver. <laughs> okay, that is super cool. That is super cool. And uh, Subaru Ambassador. All right, there you go. There we go. All right, guys. Thank you, Randall. I appreciate this. I love the Subaru swag. I really, and I don't hate Subarus. I, I just don't know them. So I'm, and I've heard lots of bad things about, you know, if you buy a Subaru, you better buy four engines to go with it. So I, you know, I tend to avoid Subarus, but this right here, this is it for me, man. Thank you so much for this. Now, let's give this thing a cold start and see if she wants to run today. And maybe we can drive her down to the car wash and uh, get her cleaned up a little bit. Are you guys ready for this? I just noticed there's some overspray. You can see some overspray on the window right there. Look at that. Yeah, oh well. We'll take it as is. It's got tags. It's legal. Oh, and the seat is so big and cushiony. All right, here we go. Cold start. Okay, okay. I think this is the best it's ever started. I think, ooh, that is just awful. I'm gonna have to get that off. I'm gonna have to get that off. Uh, reverse is up, I think. Forward and up. Oh, she's she's a little hesitant, let's see. Uh, well, it'd help if you turn the e-brake off, Randy. That would help a lot. adjust this mirror a little bit here all right car wash we haven't had this thing out driving around in a while here we go here we go I'll be honest with you she's running great all right Oh, 
Oh, you beautiful old girl. What a beauty. <laughs> I missed it. Oh yeah, you gotta come to a stop before shifting into first. I keep forgetting that. This isn't a synchronized transmission here. Uh, we got a bit of traffic, guys, so we'll come back when I'm free to go. Well, guys, here she is. Third gear. Uh, I don't have it all the way in gear. I do that a lot, man. I'm not good with this. <laughs> I'm really not good with this. <laughs> I had it kind of halfway engaged in gear and halfway not. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna clean this old girl up, man. Um, that's reverse. Forward and down is first. There we go. There we go. We're gonna leave it just like that, set the e-brake. We're gonna give her a quick bath. We're gonna see what she looks like cleaned up. All right, she got a bath. And now we're out just cruising, man. You know, 45 miles an hour. She really cruises, no issue at all. I'll get down the road a little bit further, dry this thing off a little bit, and uh, we'll check it out in the sunlight. All right, guys, here it is in the sunlight. Now, this side is shaded. We'll walk around to the other side so you can get a, a full view of it in the sunlight. She's running great. She made it to, and I stopped and filled up the gas tank, too. The gas gauge doesn't work on this, so I went ahead and filled up the gas tank with 91 octane fuel. Even though the gas gauge says empty, it is full. It is absolutely full. I didn't want to risk somebody getting the car trying to drive it and they end up running out of fuel, man. So uh, yeah, I did the right thing. We put some gas in her, guys. Look at that beautiful color. I'm gonna get you a little bit closer up to it. You can really see the metal flake in the paint. Now I know there's still a lot of work to be done. The bright work, especially up here, is in pretty poor condition. I don't know what to do about that. There's really nothing I can do about it. I'm out of time with this car. I didn't realize it's going to be three months in the paint shop. I'm not complaining about it, but things have changed in the last three months. We bought a new house. We've got some new projects going. So this one's going to have to go to auction, guys. But take a look at this paint. Look at all the metal, the metal flake in that paint. I mean, they did a great job. When you consider this is a $2,500 paint job, I really don't know how you could complain about it, like, at all. How could you complain about this paint job for 2,500 bucks? Look at that. I mean, that's beautiful, guys. This really, I love this color. I'll have to do this again. We got some grass on here from, from driving, but uh, we'll have to do this color again sometime. Look at that. Can you believe this quality? This quality. It's from Mako. I know, I know a lot of you are gonna have a hard time believing that, but it's true. Yep, this was Mako. This was all Mako, guys. I'll tell you something, there was some, uh, I can't even remember where it was, but we had some rust damage, some real deep pitting around this gas tank, or maybe it was next to the gas tank. There's quite a bit of deep pitted rust. It wasn't rust through, but it was definitely pitted, and they went ahead and took care of all that, all that pitted rust and everything. Take, look, there's nothing there nothing there come on guys come on you tell me where you can send a car for twenty five hundred dollars and have the paint job coming out looking like this especially a paint like this guys especially this is not single stage this is base clear i went base clear on this because i wanted this paint job to really shine i wanted it to last a long long time and any of the little minor dings that are still in the body that's not mako's fault I told them not to worry about that. I was just trying to make the car look good. I'm not trying to make the thing look show quality. It was never going to be show quality. God, you guys know that, right? It's me. <laughs> you guys know that. I planned on replacing the chrome, replacing the rusted bright work, and redoing the interior. Michael from Santa's Workshop was going to help out with that as well. Um, unfortunately, you know, it is December. It's the busiest time of the year for Michael. You see, we did all of this too. All that's done all the way around. Um, so he's swamped, but I'm sure, you know, he would still be willing to help me take on this project. 
The problem is I'm just out of time, guys. I'm just out of time. She sits here and purrs like a kitten. It's got a brand new battery. We changed all the fluids. She's been sitting here idling for quite a while now. Take a look at this. Good oil pressure. She charges, give her a little throttle. Look at that. Temperature gauge. Sitting nice. Sitting nice, man. For what it is, she's a good car. And, and I'm just, I'm super impressed with Mako. Waiting three months, yeah, it was a long time. It was a long time to wait, but three months was a reasonable amount of time. Very reasonable. Very reasonable, considering the amount of body work. The whole thing had to be sanded completely down because there was surface rust all over it. Sanded completely down. Places it needed work got taken care of. And then sprayed with this beautiful, beautiful plum crazy purple. Mako, thank you. Thank you. I, 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 there's one thing I know about them. They do good work. They really do. I don't know about yours, but out here, they do really good work off of 240 out here in Oklahoma City. I-240, talk to Paul. Tell him Randy from Auto Auction Rebuild sent you. They're going to give you a good price. $2,500 out the door for this paint job. $2,500 out the door for the body work, the labor, the paint, all of it. Now, is it taking each panel apart and doing it separately? No, it's not. This is a relatively quick but it's a budget-friendly paint job that most people could afford. You could take your old classic that looks as bad as this one did and make it look like this for $2,500. Now, if you don't mind waiting two years and having somebody completely disassemble your car without your permission and kind of take on a project without letting you know, you know, I guess that's your business. You can always go that route. For me personally, I prefer to know what I'm getting. I know what I'm getting with Mako. I know when I send a car there, what I'm going to get for the money. I know approximately how long it's gonna take, and they always get the job done. That's my rant, I'm done with that. I'm done with that rant because we are over it now. This car came out beautiful, I think, <laughs> I really do. She will sit here and idle all day long, guys. She will, she loves to run, she loves to drive, and now it's time, unfortunately, to say goodbye. So comment below, tell me what you guys think of the paint job, the plum crazy purple on a 1953 Pontiac Chieftain. The seats are redone, they've been redone in green. Personally, I'd probably go back with a black interior on this, I don't know, uh, black, I think going purple would be just a little, be a little much with the purple exterior, but I think a black interior would look really nice with the chrome trim that's on the inside as well. I think black and chrome with this purple body would be beautiful. Some white walls and of course some new bright work if you can find it. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to. Uh, what I do know is the previous owner that sent it to auction, um, he had the bright work with it. Uh, he donated it or something or sold it to Pedal or something like that. And at some point between when he had it and when it got to auction, all of the chrome that came with the car, he had all of the chrome, it all disappeared. Sucks! That's the way it goes sometimes. So this car is not going to be at auction yet. So if you're looking for the link to this car in the description box, it's not gonna be there. I'm gonna to have to make a dedicated video for this car when it goes to auction. By the time you see this video, I'm going to assume it'll probably be about a week before it goes to auction. Um, insurance auto auction uh, runs on Wednesdays out here in Oklahoma City. So remember, it will be at insurance auto auctions and it will be a Wednesday that this car will go up for sale, but it will not be this particular week. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna release this video today or next week, just stay tuned. I'll do a dedicated video for this car when it's ready to go up for auction. So if any of you are interested in bidding on it, you know it runs, it dries, hell, we've driven it probably 100 or so miles. We drove at highway speeds to a car show down in Paul's Valley. The car does great. We've done a lot of uh, basic maintenance stuff to it. The brakes, by the way, are excellent. Tires are basically new. They look like they're in brand new condition. The car is great. I wouldn't recommend trying to drive it across the country, but, you know, buyer beware. <laughs> You can do whatever you want with it as soon as you pay for it. Drop those comments below. Tell me what you think of the Mako paint job, man, for 2,500 bucks. I, I, I think you can't beat it. I really do. I think you cannot beat it. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. Stay safe out there, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. 
definitely drop your comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. I will see you all very soon in the next one.